In this lecture, we'll talk about two important values that help support ethical decision making, notions of fairness and honesty. They're a great start. Of course, sometimes ethical issues are more complex and actually difficult to solve or to resolve, but fairness and honesty is an excellent, excellent place to start. Fairness and honesty are at the heart of business ethics, and they relate to the general values that the decision makers at all levels have to make within an organization. At a minimum, business persons are expected to follow the applicable laws and regulations. That's just a minimum. Beyond that, beyond just obeying the law, they're expected not to harm customers, employees, clients, or competitors knowingly through deception, misrepresentation, coercion, or discrimination. Honesty and fairness can relate to how the employees use the resources of the organization. Employees should be aware of the policies that are uh, policies about taking items and recognize how these various decisions can relate to their ethical behavior. What is the expectation of the organization, but even more importantly, or equally importantly, what is the exp expectation of the broader community? Another aspect of fairness relates to uh, companies themselves competition around the various other companies and how companies choose to compete with other firms in their industries. Although numerous laws have been passed that foster competition and make monopolistic type practices where you control the assets and the prices in the market, in many cases illegal, companies sometimes gain control over markets by using questionable practices that harm the competition. Another aspect of fairness and honesty relates to disclosure of potential harm caused by certain products and their uses. Dishonesty has become a significant problem in the United States and in, within corporate America and how organizations function. Communication is another area in which ethical concerns may arise. False misleading advertising as well as deceptive personal selling tactics anger consumers and can lead to the failure of a business. Truthfulness about product safety and quality are also important to consumers. Another important aspect of communications that may arise may raise ethical concerns relates to product labeling. Ethical behavior within a business involves keeping companies secrets, meetings, meeting obligations and responsibilities and avoiding undue pressure that may force others to act unethically, forcing people, if you will, coercing them to behave in the ways that are supporting of your objectives rather than a broader organizational one. It is the responsibility of managers to create a work environment that helps the organization achieve its responsibilities and fulfill, its and fulfill those responsibilities and obligations. Let's take a minute to talk about an important item in, in business, but also in life and in, in the academic setting, and that's plagiarism. Plagiarism is taking someone else's work and representing it as your own without mentioning the source in the appropriate manner. This is another ethical issue. Taking someone else's thoughts, someone else's ideas or work and presenting them as if they were coming from you. This is plagiarism and it has many different levels. In business, an ethical issue arises when an employee might copy a report or take the work of other, of the, or ideas of others <clears throat> and present it as if it is their own work their own thoughts, as if it emanated from them, as opposed to giving appropriate credit back to the original, uh, who the original uh, creators of that work. Uh, one of the problems there, of course, is you're basically stealing the attribution of the idea, 
but also it eliminates the possibility of following the thought process back through to its source because essentially by claiming it was your work you limit that you limit the fact checking that can occur by going back to the source and looking at their sources and trying to follow the chain of ideas a manager attempting to take credit for a subordinate's idea is also is engaging in a type of plagiarism and this happens oftentimes in organizations where the the manager takes credit for the for the work of their subordinates or you take credit for the work that a team presented it's uh, it's it can have short-term benefits in the sense of getting promoted but it has long-term consequences in terms of one's reputation in the business world in the next lecture we'll go into more detail about what it means to be ethical.